Hey there everyone, I said I was done with PvP videos, but actually I'm going to make one more. Uh, I got playing with Alex Stemmer, who's a knight, a knight from Hell's Finest Guild. Uh, again, one of the one of the top kind of knights in the game, especially with his setup. He's, d he's doing exactly what I said uh, in my knight video. Anyway, I'll get to that uh, later on. I said I'd do this video in a proper London accent, because we're both British, but I'm kind of not in the mood. Uh... I've got a lot going on right now, uh, which I'll, I'll get to at the end of the video. Anyway, let's go on with the clip. So this is a very special clip. We did two fights against each other, um, the first and the second. And to be honest, the score isn't really, uh, the, the end score of the matches isn't really what's going on here. What's going on here is it's a 1v1 fight between a wizard and a knight. Now, both of us play really well. And his character, I would say, is a lot better just because he's doing that set mixing stuff. Otherwise, uh, oh, actually... It's probably better in general too, but um, otherwise, you know, we both have high elemental stats, we both have uh, high promotion, and uh, all, all the skill runes that we could ever want, and that kind of stuff. So in terms of setup, we're at a fairly kind of similar level. It's just the fact that he's doing the set mixing too. And anyway, the way how he plays is exceptionally good, and uh, this is a brilliant example of how we can play against each other. So in both matches, the two other people are a lot weaker, so I focus entirely on him. And we, we each play slightly differently. So this first one, I play very much uh, avoiding him. I play defensive. I'm playing to survive. And um, yeah, you'll see how it goes. So that's him there. Um, as you can see, he has used the spikes buff. If I just uh, take this back a second. Look how much armor he has. <laughs> it's 5 million. And um, then his damage output is lower. But that's, again, because he's doing the set mixing. And his elemental stats make up for it. Um, so I actually run into him straight away at the beginning, and I focus on the avalanche, because I'm like, okay, I'm not dealing with this avalanche, I'm going to polymorph it, teleport away from him. I hit him with some stuff, and pretty much realise he's not going down quickly. So I tank up with, uh, with Healing Shrine, and then hit him with uh, Flame Breath, Flame Cannon, uh, that, all that kind of stuff. I then slow him down as well, whenever I move away I slow him down, and at this point I'm going to run away, so I hit him with slow again. Go back in with Fire Aura, try to get this on him. And uh, he does a little stun on me, but doesn't manage to do much damage. So I run away again, quickly take down the other guy, and um, I very nearly get him there, but he used a potion. I Actually, I used a potion um, when he was attacking me uh, there earlier. Um, I can't remember exactly when I used it, but anyway, I used it to kind of be a bit safer. As you can see, I'm spamming my skills here, trying to do some stuff. Um, I realised my defences are gone, so I had to teleport away, quickly dodge him. And then at this point again, go back in, fire your right at the beginning. I try to stack it up before then putting on uh, Flame Breath. And then I go spamming on Polymorph right now, which I do manage to hit on him. But I think he's got Angelic Form on or something at this point. So no, that's it. Got to run. His health's just not going down. <laughs> and um, again, I haven't really got my Flame Armor at this point, so I'm running away. Uh, I tank up while I wait for my Fire Aura. Then go off again. I managed to pull off quite a few stuns on him, because I'm focusing on him so much, I'm like watching him the entire time. Um, I'm able to see when he doesn't have stun immunity, and I was able to hit him with so many icicle splashes. Uh, which normally I can't do to so many knights. But again there, I was getting his health down, and then he healed up again. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I had to run away here, because my defences were gone. And I grabbed another kill. Uh, at this point, I was kind of feeling bad for grabbing kills, because I'd clearly won the match by score. <laughs> and um, here at the end... Just kind of spam his skills. I realise neither of us are going to get a kill at this point. Uh, but yeah, awesome match. Neither of us kill each other. We just spend the entire time like facing each other off. I run away and all that stuff. So I thought I had to hit the return to town button there. Um, so this is the second match now. And sorry to Waxy if you watch this. Um, I think we were originally friends. So I don't know why uh, you had to have me again. But um, I just kind of impulse clicked it away. So in this match, I go slightly more offensive, because I'm, like, I'm like, okay, I really want to actually try to get a kill on him, like a proper kill, and um, I don't mind if I'm going to die doing it. Uh, but again, yep, bump into him right at the beginning. He puts Lord of Winter on, so I just run away. Uh, sadly, I, I just can't take him on. He's got a dragon out as well, it's just it's not going to go well. So I run away, wait until his Lord of Winter's gone, pull him off him as soon as he comes in, start attacking him. And then I uh, put Flame Armor on. I Do I stun him? Yeah, stun him with Icicle Splash, Flame uh, flame Breath again. Start spamming those damage skills. Nope, he's healed up with uh, with a bubble. And then I died. I finally died. And uh, I just want to point out my mistake here. So um, the reason why I died, 
Uh, every single time I die in this video, it's, there's a reason. So I hit him with flame breath, uh, flame cannon. Oh, I missed it. Okay, so I'm ha attacking with skills. I stun him here. I know he's stunned for three seconds. I do empowered frozen sphere, flame breath, uh, flame cannon. I know he's finished. And I should have just teleported away immediately, but on impulse, I wanted to do emp empowered frozen sphere before teleporting away. And that got me killed. Um, I, if I hadn't done that skill use, I would have teleported and avoided death. But anyway, uh, that's how it was. <laughs> And uh, I'm pretty sure that was an impulse skill use there. So I went all bu buffed up straight in there, trying to go kamikaze and just um, use all my skills to take him down. That poor other guy just just died off as soon as he came came near. So I'm spamming skills. His health's going down, and then he pops Lord of Winter. Uh, heals up as well, just for good measure. And uh, there's no way I can do that. So I just have to kind of keep tanking up. And um, yeah... Just wait for my fiery aura. I need to wait for my skills to come off cooldown to try and you know stack them all together. And um, I knew my defense was going to come off. No, I didn't. I just I knew I was going to get killed there. He might kill me off, so I got away. And um, anyway, my defense was coming off, so I got away, went back in there, and died off very quickly. And if you uh, thumbs up to you if you spotted my mistake here. If you watch my flame armor in the top left, just top left up here, I reapply it. It goes off. I got it slightly off timing, so I didn't actually reapply it. So I thought I had flame armor on at this point, which would, you know, help me survive <laughs> a lot better than I did. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, he got me again. So yeah, nicely done to you, Alex. But um, as you can see, it was my mistake. So again, here I'm just kind of I'm going in with all the buffs, which I should delay it really. And um, then he takes me down there. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it was. He said afterwards he was using the uh, the Royal Guard's Reflect skill. And I think he put it on there. I, I scrolled back and I looked at the damage numbers. And they're all water numbers. So I'm not exactly sure what it was doing it. But anyway, that was... Um, uh, yeah, that got, quickly got me there. So we had a lovely chat before, afters, during. And um, this is here afterwards. I looked over all his gear. So this is where I'm going to talk about uh, the what I was saying with the knights with set mixing. What he's done here is very nice. So you'll see he's got two royal weapons on. Uh, this, sorry, um, they're called VIP weapons. They work with any set. He's got two, uh, two of the blades here. And what it means is he can get the three set bonus uh, by uh, on all the different, you know, weapons. He just needs one item from each set and then it gives him the armor bonus. Um, so for, uh, for knight, um, sorry, Bear with me. Uh, what he's doing, I'm not sure about the equipment. Uh, well, I'll talk on the appearance and uh, trinkets. Anyway, he's also got a load of water and nature. I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but he's got enough there to, to fight really well and uh, have good damage output. So on the appearance, what he's done here is he's got the uh, fabled and the relic version of uh, of the most recent sets. So this here and um, I think it's the shoulders or, you know, something else, one of the other pieces, um, they are from the same set. However, because the Relic and the Fable bonus are two different uh, different set bonuses, he can get the set bonus there. So he's actually got three different sets here, but he's got six set bonuses because he's got the Fabled and then the Relic one. And uh, again, he's using the VIP um, chest and helm for uh, for getting those set bonuses. So I scroll over it. Oh, I'm typing right now. That's why. Um, so yeah, I scroll over it. And uh, he hasn't really got much in the way of jewels on here to like boost armor stuff. He's got someone is a uh, someone is what do you call it banner. And then on trinkets again, he's done exactly the same thing. Where he's got the two VIP items, and then he's using one item from each set uh, for the armor bonuses. If you're wondering exactly what the um, what the bonus is, uh, the trinket set bonuses he's using. This one is creating a, a holy ground around you which I think it reduces the damage by... It gives you like 50% damage reduction for 5 seconds when that goes off. It's a pretty strong one, um, but doesn't happen too frequently. And the other one is you gain a boost in armor and you heal a bit. Uh, I'm not sure how good that one is anymore. It was the OP one that like got nerfed later. And um, then, yeah, he's got good dragon calls. So that was the, uh, the two matches which I did with Alex and his general setup. Not many knights can do this setup because the VIP items, well, they haven't really been around for so long now. Um, but yeah, if they do come out again properly, then you can do with this kind of setup to get crazy health and armor and become literally invincible, as you see in this video. Like, no matter what I threw at him, and like, you know, my stats, we're on a safe, like, 
fairly uh, similar playing field. That's why he struggled to kill me too, because you know when I was focusing on it so much and I used my defensive skills, I could kind of tank him up as well. Um, I'd like to know actually if there was a, like a way he could play differently in order to beat me, um, like to actually kill me off without me making mistakes. Uh, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'm hoping to play against him more and um, yeah, see how we can do. He wants to play with me more and uh, you know learn how to fight uh, wizards like me. Uh, so yeah, it should be fun, and I'll I'll try and get some more of the clips, um, some more of the clips recorded, and then maybe feature them later on. But this is going to be the final PvP video uh, for now, for a little while, until you know things have changed a bit. We've got new skill rooms in play and that kind of stuff. If I can come up with new new ways to play, new strategies, then I'll um I'll bring out videos again. Uh, but otherwise, not really much more I can say on this. Uh, just good job, Alex, and it was great uh, great fighting with you. Um, I look forward to doing more matches with you. And um, I hope everyone else who watched this video um, got inspired a bit and, uh, yeah, and enjoyed it. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, actually, oh, just before I do that. So um, I wanted to uh, announce right now I'm, I'm coming up to uh, some exams, and I'm having to revise for them, which I can balance everything around, like, you know, with the video making and the playing the games and, you know, re revision. Um, however... Uh, I am probably going to take a break um, and be a little bit more relaxed with my video making, not making one every single day, uh, simply because like, I'm not going to always have that time. And um, I've got a few social events coming up as well, which it's kind of a pain if I have that in my evening, and normally I make the videos in the evening. So it's like I have to I have to make it the day before, and then the two videos one day, oh, it's it can get a bit much. So um, I'm just saying that because I'm not going to upload a video for a few days now, and we'll just see how it goes. I'll be bringing them out, you know, fairly regularly, just not quite as much, maybe for the next kind of month or so. Uh, so um, I hope you still enjoy my content, and you know that I do bring out. And uh, yeah, just don't be expectant, and uh, don't. Oh, yes. Okay, this is another reason too. Is that one of the things I'm going to be doing over the next week or two is bringing out some farming videos, because. Things have changed there, we've got more move speed and stuff, and I want to do it with all three classes, which takes some time, because I can farm with a wizard, and, you know, I could probably sit down for about half an hour, an hour, perfect the technique, and, uh, put, you know, make a video about it. However, with knights and archers, it will take time. I need a lot of time to practice, especially that we've now got Animal's Gold Sanctum and Animal's Gold Circle. So, <laughs> to try and fit that in with everything else takes time. So that's what I'm going to be spending my time on, rather than simply, you know, making other videos. Um, and hopefully that will mean that in the end, we'll ha uh, I'll be putting out some really good farming videos. So, um, yeah, have that to look forward to, and know that if you're bored and you don't have a video to watch, that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.